Greetings and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to begin working on the cylinder covers. If you recall, we've now finished boring and we've finished machining all the edges, which is fantastic. On the cylinder covers, we have a rear cover, which is the bit with the big fat bit on, which is where the slide bar attaches and the piston rod goes through. And we have the front covers, which is literally just a cover. And that's the one we're going to start on first. Now, if you recall, when we machined the cylinders, we left them slightly longer than they should be because we were getting very thin on the port. The internal volume of the cylinder is what we need to make sure we keep to the dimensions of. I've worked out exactly how much I need to add on to each cylinder cover on the inside to make the volume the correct amount. It should be 0 0.125 of an inch and the front covers because luckily they're both going to be the same, are now 0 0.188 of an inch. It's not very much in the grand scheme of things, but let's try and keep that volume to as the drawings. And strangely enough, in these front covers, there seems to be a BSP threaded hole in the centre. Now, I'm not sure what that's for. I've never seen it on anybody else's. I don't think I'm going to put it in because I'm not sure what use it is. I've talked too much. Let's crack on. Got this as close as I can, which... On the grand scheme of things, if you can see that, it's close enough. Looking that'll do. Oh, that's come up very nice. Nice. Not that far off. <laughs> In grand scheme of things. I'm just touching the tool on this face here because on the drawing, this recess to this front here should be uh, 0.125 of an inch. I'm going to zero where I am now and then I'm going to pull back and then machine it to 0.125 or thereabouts. I don't think it needs to be critical. It's just an end cover. Oh, look at that. That's machined beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. Both done. So now I'll put them in the other way around and get hold of this bit. Yeah, I think I'm having that. Hopefully you can see that. It's hardly moving. Right, so now I've got it down to diameter. 
which in fact now it's cooled we can just give it a quick check Four and a quarter, we'll call that. Right, so now what we've got to do is this end needs taking down so it sits inside the cylinder. So I'm just going to have to take a bit out and measure it and slowly work my way. Right, let's see how much we've just taken off. I have a lot to take off. I've got a long way to go, so I'll get it rough cut and then I'll bring you back. Nearly there. So I've been taking like um, half a mil cuts off. Now you might notice that I switch between Imperial and Metric. I do that because of the cross slide here, the y-axis is met is a metric dial whereas the dro that i have on the x-axis i can switch to imperial so i'm having to convert stuff to do the diameter whereas the lengthways i can just use the dro in inches so i'm having to convert to metric so i'm nearly there i've got to get to 69.85 ish and then we can try the cylinder on and then I've got to just sort this face here out it's going well, going well a couple more cuts and we're there in there just so I can get the calipers on and check this very last this end bit right so it's 70 so I need to take a smidgen more off Stop, start, stop, start. Should fit, let's try it. Oh yes! 
nice fit. Right, let's get this finished. Right, so we're happy with that diameter. So now I need to get it back to the right width here. Um, and then face this off until this is the right depth. And then just give that a little chamfer. And then that's that done. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Uh, right, so I'll take this one out and get the other one done. And then we just have to cut off the uh, the nib at the end. Very nice, very nice. Perfect. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you found it interesting. If you did and you haven't already, then please do consider clicking the subscribe button down below and the notification bell, and you'll be notified when we next release a video, which will probably be on a steam engine of some type. And don't forget to tickle the like button and that will help it share around to like-minded folks. And stick a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And I do enjoy reading all the comments. And with that said, Check out one of these other videos, wherever they're going to be on the screen. And uh, as always, stay safe. Laders. Get the brew. Get the brew in. Get the brew in.